All right, so now that I have my character's basic body set up, the next thing is going to be to attach the arm to the body. So I like to delete the history, which keeps my file size low. And now what I'm doing is adding edges to the torso so that I can start deleting some faces and I can start attaching the body. So same thing like the torso to the leg. I need to have enough mesh to be able to attach the arm to the body. So I'm deleting faces and I'm also adding edges where I need them. All right, so now that I'm going to the side view, I'm going to make sure that my arm is aligned to the body and I'm going to start shaping the shoulder hole. Now I have to apologize, something went wrong with my um, my capture. So you'll see that you can't see my mouse anymore. So I don't know what happened. It didn't capture it. Uh, I'm sure it's some sort of attribute that I somehow turned off and uh, I have to figure out what happened. So, but hopefully you can, but you can still see where the direction of the vertices are going and everything. So hopefully that will give you enough information to be able to uh, to get the idea. So my apologies. Hopefully that doesn't you know disturb you too much. But sorry about that. I don't know what happened. All right. So now that I've kind of shaped the hole of the shoulder, I'm adding a couple of edges so I can start shaping uh, a little bit more of the arm. And then I'm going to start attaching the shoulder. So I'm extruding the geometry that I need and I'm going to start shaping it. So in this scenario, instead of combining them, which I will next, what I'm doing is actually just attaching the vertices and just snapping it to the torso to make sure that every single vertice has a home. So I'm just selecting vertices and then snapping them. But now I'm going inside the body to make sure that I get the right vertices. And now I'm moving the arm around and kind of shaping it a little bit more to make sure that there's enough, enough room for the body. All right, so it looks like I have enough vertices to connect. So now I'm going to select both the bot, the torso and the arm. I'm going to combine them. And then I'm going to grab a chunk of vertices and then I'm going to merge. So it's two ways that you guys can actually merge things together. You can either take the welding tool and just start merging together, or you can make sure the vertices are really close together, combining the mesh and then merging the vertices at once. All right. So just like that, we have a arm, a leg, and a torso. And now they're attached into one piece of geometry. The next part is just uh, basically making sure that the body and everything is aligned. You want to make sure that you have a nice grid flow when it comes to your mesh. If you have more of a nice grid to your character, then it's going to deform properly. Uh, this character is meant to be animated and rigged. So therefore, topology is going to be very important. So now what I'm doing is just moving things around a little bit more carefully to make sure that everything's set up so that I can start extruding and, and making sure that geometry is correct and placed the well. I also want to make sure that my grid flow and my geometry is following the reference picture. You can see that needs a little bit of work. And you can also tell that I'm scaling uniformly, but never selecting that center edge because I want to keep that at the center. I don't want to mess around with it. Another thing that you're going to try to do is make it look like it's not a cylinder attached to a torso. What you're seeing is just kind of going through and making sure that all the edges and everything kind of it has a nice smooth grid flow. If you guys ever need to know what type of topology your character should have, there's a lot of reference out there as to what type of topology your character should have when it comes to the arms, how they attach and everything. So the key is to try to get the shoulders to actually smoothly go through to the body and, uh, and it goes into a nice smooth way. A lot of the times you want to try to make it look like it's you've got shoulder blades and the spine and your body, you know, just kind of follow the, the, the anatomy of the human body. Now you can see that I added those uh, two edges in the back and it's making my character look very square. So what I'm doing is actually selecting one of the edges and kind of pushing it in a little bit. It's going to help it look a little bit more rounded. I can always use this extra mesh to just kind of round out my character a little bit more and define her a little bit more. I can always use the mesh. I can either remove it or I can work with it. So same thing with the front. Um, I'm going to actually try to make her a little bit more rounded. She is kind of more tuned. So I definitely want to make sure that she's rounded. So I'm just kind of pushing them in a little bit, pushing them out.
So I'm getting ready for the for the chest area. It's surprisingly challenging to create breasts. She's supposed to be cartoony, so anatomy-wise, she's I can kind of get away with a little bit more, but basically you just want to kind of set it up that the front vertices and edges are kind of rounded and circular so that when you extrude, it's naturally already going to be rounded and then you can just kind of tweak it. But again, I'm just kind of going through and just kind of checking out to make sure that everything's looking well. And once I have, I don't want to add anything extra until everything is good to go. So is the back okay? Is the front looking good? Are the arms looking good? If everything's ready to go, then yes, I can go ahead and start grabbing some edges or some faces and extruding. So very similar to anatomy and other objects, you're just going to extrude and then you're going to start shaping. And also start rounding them out. So I'm probably gonna gonna go ahead and add some music so that uh, you know since I don't have much to say you can just kind of watch and see what's going on. But uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of music in the background and uh, just gonna uh, kind of enjoy the show. Um, all right, so now I'm going to be working on the neck. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, aligning the neck to the mesh I extruded and I'm bringing it in. And again, I'm trying to align the center, the center edges of the body to the reference image. And I'm also using the grid to help me out. And don't forget, anytime you do that, you always want to look to the both the front view and the side view to get a, uh, an idea. And the perspective view is going to help to make sure that everything's looking good. Uh, you can see that there was a weird little face there. I just went ahead and deleted it. And I'm just kind of taking a look to make sure everything's shaping okay. And areas where I can use what I can do to improve. All right. So there is the body being formed. It's got uh, some nice edge flow. And uh, there's a couple of things that just need to be tweaked a little bit more. But uh, you can see that I'm going to start rounding things out. Again, there's nothing really square about the human body. There's really no sharp edges except for maybe teeth and nails. So everything else is of us is very soft, especially for this character. If you're trying to design like an evil character, then maybe you do have a lot more sharp edges. But in this character, she's supposed to be kind of cute and soft and gentle. So in that case, we're going to go ahead and design her that way as well. So now I've created the neck. I'm sure everything looks good. And now it's going to be the feet. She looks a little strange without feet. So usually with feet, what I do is grab the uh, bottom edge and then start extruding. She has some really modern shoes right now, so that's going to be interesting to work with. All right, so I'm extruding and expanding. And again, I'm looking at the side view first. Then if I want to, I can go ahead and look at the front view as well. So I can work both, both angles at the same time. So I went all the way to the bottom because and to create the heel because when I'm going to grab the, the toes, I'm going to actually grab the front faces and then start extruding from there. If you know anything about animation, the foot bends, so make sure that you give her enough geometry to be able to bend without breaking. All right, so I've got the basic shape and then I go to the perspective view to make sure that everything looks good and that I can tweak a couple of things. So I'm adding um, an extra edge loop to make sure that uh, there's enough geometry and also so the character's foot doesn't collapse when you soften it or smooth it. You can see there's a giant hole at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and in this case, I fill the hole and now I'm going to create edges to start cutting it into quads. You're going to try to avoid tries and you're going to try to avoid end gone. So no triangles. If you are going to have triangles, make sure you, uh, you hide them and nothing over five edges. 
The problem with five edges is that Maya has a tendency not to know what to do with them or with triangles and therefore it tries to calculate them and it gets a little confused. So it's actually mostly about rendering. When Maya renders, it actually takes a look at the quad and then divides it into half and then it tessellates. If you have a triangle, it's going to try to divide it in half and it doesn't know how because it's a triangle. Or if it's an end gone, which is five edges or, or more, it doesn't know what to do. All right, so now I'm duplicating it to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do an instance. I am scaling it to the negative one so I can see how it looks like uh, if it was mirrored. An instance means that whatever I do to the right side, the left side is going to be affected. So I'm working on the chest area to make sure that it actually looks okay. And you can also see that there's some holes. So I'm going to go ahead and start fixing the holes as well. So instead of scaling it, make sure you just move them because again, the other piece doesn't really exist. It's just kind of like a ghost of it. All right, she's coming along. I think that's a lot of information. We actually did a lot today. We uh, created the torso, the arm, we attached them, we fixed it, we created the feet, and now we're gonna be working on the hand next. I'm gonna show you a little trick that I used to create the hand. I think that's good for now. So hopefully that was helpful. And uh, remember to keep practicing, it, make beautiful characters. I truly appreciate everything that you guys do and your support, and I will see you next time.